so the main thing that I think won people over is that I was reading a lot about finance. And when I say a lot, I was religiously reading everything I could possibly, and I was just hoovering up information. Mm -hmm. And I think that came across that I had a real passion for reading and investing it in the end of the day, you know, as Warren Buffett says, it's just about sitting at home, you know, at your office and reading as much as you can possibly. And I think they look for that. I was intellectually curious. I knew how to kind of connect dots of information, say, well, this is interesting here, this is interesting here. Could this be more interesting if we think about it together? Um, the questions were, I mean, you know, to Majedi's credit, their questions were really fun and, and it was just a fun interview. They asked really tough questions. Um, so they would sort of ask these kind of, I, I mean, I'm probably not allowed to divulge what they were, but things that you wouldn't necessarily um, expect in an interview, but there were sort of br not brain teasers necessarily, but they would ask you what you th why you think a certain thing was the case that um, and it's not something you would have ever been able to read up on, and then you just had to kind of argue for yourself on the spot why you thought that was the case. It's more just um, your logic, your structure, and logic. About exactly. It. So the way you thought about something, your arguments, what facts you would bring forward, even if you had no idea what this this topic was, you know, like, I mean, I'll give you one example, for example, like, you know, wh why are people, why are, is the Dutch national team so good at ice skating? That's, that's an example of a question. So something like that, kind of left field, you don't really think about it, but there's a few obvious things you can go for and what it is that you exactly go for. Um, we, there was a lot of stock conversation, you know, what kind of stocks, you know, why are you interested in this? You know, your typical, a lot of times it will give you like three different stocks and they say, which one do you think is good? My piece of advice on that would be just have a view. So don't sit on the fence. Don't say, oh, I think this one's good. This one's good. This one's good. And then you don't have a conclusion. Make sure you say, I like this stock because they're really looking for people. We were looking for people with conviction mm -hmm. and their sort of views. And it, it doesn't really matter what the answer is. And you're probably going to be wrong or right. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you had conviction and you proved why you thought that was the case. Um, so that was kind of the interviews. You know, there's a few sort of math stuff, a little bit of, um, you know, one of them kind of made me do a stock test. Um, what again, kind of math? Like a, like... Um, so that was the consultant, actually. They, they just took out a page from the GRE exam and they just gave me like 20 GRE questions. And they said, here you go.